Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. Today, we have a CGC submission return. I can't wait to take a look. All right, so the box has come back from CGC. Uh, this is a modern submission. Uh, so CGC, uh, of course, this is really uh, the standard bearer when it comes to packaging slabs, guys. Uh, Heavy-duty box. It uses heavy-duty uh, cardboard honeycomb crush all around, all six sides, and then your books are in there. And it, every three books there is a cardboard divider to keep them from banging against each other and every book is in a heavy thick plastic bag so uh, really good job protecting the books can't say enough about that and they're really easy to get out because once you crack the top move this piece out of the way you can just reach in and grab a book um, my dead space here was packed with a little bit of bubble wrap to keep the things from sliding around Let's pull that out of my way so I can get to them all right I'm just going to pull the books out. I don't know. These are all modern books. So I believe the expectation on these is a 9.8 pretty much across the board. We might get a few 9.6s. Um, but anything less than that, I'm going to be <laughs> kind of sad to be certain. But anyways, let's just take a look and see. I'll pull them out of the bags because I um, don't want to see. Um, uh, okay. Okay. We'll start off the bat. So this is Dr. Afra. This was a 1 in 25. And so this book was super hot. I actually got it uh, at my LCS um, off the shelf. Um, I finally got around to slapping it. Now, I know this one is not a 9-8 um, for two reasons. One, first of all, it's a Dr. Afra uh, 1 in 25. And if you've watched my videos recently, you know I said I have nothing but bad luck with these books. But also, um, I looked at this book and I meant to send it in once before and I didn't send it in because I knew it wasn't a 9.8 and I looked at it again and I know it's not a 9.8 there's some color rub along the back side at the staple so let's see what we get on this one. Oh, nine six. I'm willing to take that that's very nice I'm dealing with a lot of glare here we go uh, 9.6 Dr. Afra. I'm happy with that uh, I believe that makes this book like about a around the neighborhood of like $150 $200 I mean it's a it's a hot book not a lot going on inside of it. There's no, it's not a key. It's just a really popular cover. All right. Um, okay. Han Solo and Chewbacca, number one. This is, again, the 1 in 25 incentive ratio. 9 8. Beautiful. So, uh, this is the Hughes variant cover. Uh, just a, the 1 in, 1 in 25 incentive variant. So that was what this, this, uh, submission was with some cool some cool covers some incentive ratios uh this is okay the miles morales spider-man the current the newest run issue one this is the ivan tau uh yeah virgin variant uh graffiti variant so good that's exactly what we want to see up we'll get here okay so I had already sent one of these in before this was uh, the miles Morales this is just the a cover but it's an awesome a cover this is just such a great cover I know that this is gonna be a classic and desirable cover from as far as now he's at a, a number one on a very popular character even if it's not the first first series right but it's a great looking cover I picked up two copies I sent my first one in and it came back in 98 and uh, I decided what the hell let's roll the dice and see what the other one comes back at oh, nice also a 98 so beautiful so I got two 98 copies of that who knows maybe one of those copies will make its way to comics curing cancer this year um, all right more pictures of this mile oh oh okay so this is <laughs> this is the uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number 39. So this is the previous volume. This is a New York Comic Con uh, 2022 exclusive 
variant of that drip variant very popular book um the original of course was black background and then the new york comic-con is the red back background this is a book i picked up from my man dj links um there was some i think there was something else that he was unboxing and in one of his mystery boxes that i really was I was like, oh hey that's my oh it was a batman beyond book i was like hey i'll pick that book up and uh so i went to look at his ebay to see if it was there because i knew he wasn't his thing sure enough it was listed on his ebay while well, i'm there i looked for a couple other books do a little bundle this book got bundled in there um so let's see what we get Oh, baby, yeah. So that's what Daddy likes. Uh huh, uh huh. Whew. That is smexy. So we got ourselves our 9 8 New York Comic Con variant. Yes. Whew. Thank you, DJ. DJ Links. All right, uh, Miles Morales. Um, Spider-Man, current volume, issue two. Uh, it's an homage. I, I understand. I don't know what it's an homage to. I've never seen this cover before. But uh, anyways, beautiful 9-8, exactly what we would hope. So there we go. Homage to the McFarlane. Trial by Spidey. Oops. The slabs stack nice. Come on. All right, next up. All right. Oh, okay. So this is a facsimile, obviously. Uh, Amazing Fantasy uh, 15. This was... I sent this book in because this is uh, the no barcode variant. <laughs> um, so most of them have a barcode on it. This one doesn't have a barcode. It just has the three ninety nine price is all. That's great. No grade. What the hell? No grade. This is Amazing Fantasy fa Facsimile Edition. What the hell is no grade? What the hell am I supposed to do with this? A no grade. When are, are they not grading facsimiles anymore? What the hell? Well, I guess I'll be cracking that one out. That was fucking pointless. I'll fucking write them and find out what the hell is going on. All right. Uh, okay. Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number one. So I had this. This cover was an awesome cover. This is the Battle Lines cover. It was phenomenal. I ended up with like three or f yeah, I had three different copies of this cover. Uh, the first one I ever sent in, I sent in to PGX back in the day, and it came back at 10.0. Uh, then I recently sent one to CGC for to get the Gwen logo on there and it came back like a nine six so this is the third copy i sent in i decided not to get the logo because i was sending in with a mixed bag and the gwen stacy logo spider gwen logo was covered by the hologram so why bother and this one comes back bang nine eight beautiful that's what we want to see so there we go that's just a gorgeous cover So good. Okay, Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number one. Oh, this is the animation. This is a one in ten uh, animation variant. Somehow I have a feeling that this one was probably, as I recall, it might have had a minor. I can't remember if this is the one that had a minor issue. This one come back in nine six. I'll be okay with it. But oh, no, nine eight. Oh yes, 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 yes. That is a nice cover. Cool. I mean, I s I see why I thought it could be a nine six. Interesting. You know, CGC makes no sense to me. 
in that there'll be books that come back that they you can't see anything wrong with them and they tell you oh it's a nine six or nine four it's got these got this issue and I look at this book here and let's see if it'll show like right right here there's like these it's not the staple because the staples here you see these little non color or color breaking oh ticks there on the edge unless that's a, they're saying that that's part of the art that's wrapping around maybe but I don't know I just don't get but I'll take it all right stop being a jerk Rob uh, three more books okay Oh, this is the new, the newest series, Star Wars: The High Republic. This is the one in twenty-five uh, incentive ratio, var retailer incentive variant. Perfect, nine eight. That's what we want to see. Uh, these incentives this is awesome. Star Wars: The High Republic, issue one, one in twenty-five. What's interesting is it introduces the, these main characters for the first time, and it has no mention on here that it's the first appearance of those characters. Don't know what to do, but... Oh, okay. So this is the Old Republic, number one. This is a variant cover. Uh, so this was... Um, based on of course this is dark horse it's an older book from uh the pre pre movie era um this was a book i got out of uh from kyle uh the promiscuous time traveler it was out of a mystery box from him and ooh, there we go came back in nine eight that's good man a lot of glare off this one I'm trying to get that Cool. All right, last book. Um, I have no idea. I don't remember what this is. Oh. Okay, as soon as I saw the back cover, I knew what it was. So, see the back cover. You, know, you can see it's certain. So, this is The High Republic, number one. Uh, this is the first volume. This is the Italian variant. And it has this cover art by... Del Auto. Later on, this cover art would be reused on, I think, it's a Star Wars mag fan magazine or something, um, but or Star Wars magazine. But originally, this is where it originally was used was here on this um, Italian variant. Now, I picked my I picked a copy of this up off of uh, eBay, I think, and it had. Um, some minor issue and I sent it to my man the rogue trader and the rogue trader had gotten back to me and told me that he wasn't able to get the my corner out or whatever but he swapped the book out for another one he had in his inventory for me and this is what he sent me back so let's see bang look at that thank you rogue trader you're an awesome man I got myself the 9-8. Make sure you check him out. Uh, the Rogue Trader Utah. Dot com. Uh, while you're there, you can use the code FATSTACKS if you want to use them for any of your pressing. Pick out one of those pre-bundled, discounted bun things. Go to the checkout. Hit FATSTACKS, all one word, in the chat, in the discount code. It'll apply a uh, 20% discount off. And now I'm... I think it's 20%. Anyway, you'll get a discount off your pressing. And when you use that, 10% is going to go, or not 10%, $10 will be donated to Comics Curing Cancer. Speaking of Comics Curing Cancer, uh, would you hit the like button, guys? 100% uh, of the channel revenue on this channel goes to Comics Curing Cancer, uh, benefiting the American Red Cross, or not American Red Cross, the American Cancer Society. I can't speak today. Hoy. Anyways, everything I bring in from this channel or I receive from this channel, ad revenue, membership, merch sales, whatever, I turn around and I donate to Comics Carrying Cancer. Uh, of course, in October, we'll have our big big drive. Last year, we raised $23,000, just about. 
or just under $23,000 for comics carrying cancer. This year, we hope to do even more. All right, guys, I really appreciate you hanging out with me, checking out these books. Tell me, what was your favorite? Uh, which Was it Star Wars? Was it one of those Spider-Man? Uh, have you ever seen this before? Why, I mean, why am I getting a no grade? Any thoughts? Absolutely insane. What should I do with that? I don't know. All right, guys. Um, comment, like, love you all. Until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including myself. I mean, I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.